I wrote a few CMD commands, save as a script file and a disk part batch file, which I have saved both of them on the desktop as you have seen on this tutorial video. First, we can start with the script file. In the script file, there are a few commands which are related in this tutorial video. We want to try out all these CMD commands in the script file and make sure they could be executed well. Make sure you could open the command prompt window and run as administrator. In the command prompt window, type disk part and press enter. Next you will type, list disk and hit enter. So you can able to view a list of the available drives. In this case, my USB flash drive is disk 1. Now type select disk 1 and press enter. Make sure, you choose the right disk number for the number representing the drive you are trying to format or else it won't work. Next you type clean and press enter so this will to delete all the partitions on the storage. Next you can type create partition primary and press enter. Next you can type select partition 1 and press enter. Now, it is ready to format. In the command line, make sure to replace file system for your preferred file system, example, FAT32, XFAT, or NTFS. In this case, I choose to format as NTFS. Also, replace drive name with the name you want to give the device, and if you do not specify the quick option, then a full format will be performed. Type the following command to perform a quick format and press enter. Format fs equals ntfs, quick label equals usb. I will list all file systems formatting commands, you just copy and paste it as your selective location so it is easy for you. Once format is being completed, you type active. Next, you type assign letter equals D as a drive letter and press enter. Quick hint, you can append letter equals D in the command to assign, in this case, D as the drive letter. Otherwise, the system will assign a letter automatically. All good, then you can type exit and hit enter to get out of the disk part tool.
Now you definitely know your CMD commands are good to go. Next you will save it and name it as a script txt file on my desktop. Don't worry these CMD commands. I will type these commands in the description of this tutorial video, so you can copy and paste it if you need it immediately. Final step is to open the disk part batch file and then you can check the disk part command being attached with a path file, for my case it known as the path from the script file. Once it is completed, click on the disk part batch file to run as administrator or else it won't run. If it is annoyed to you, then you can create a shortcut to elevate administrator. You can watch my tutorial video, how to create Windows shortcuts on Windows 11 so you can create more attractive shortcut as well. It is very self-explanatory from here. I will type the disk part command in the description of this tutorial video, so it is convenient for you to access. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumb up on this video as well as share it to your friends.